to do a video on my purse planner so this is just a planner that i carry with me on the go just in case i need to plan something out write something down take some information that's the reason why um, i set up this planner so it's not my main one it's just my mini one for on the go and then i use this little pouch to put the pens and that i use along with it so i will show you guys in a sec but um, this one I believe I got from DH Gate. I'm not sure. This planner. And this is how I set it up. I put some little perfume cards here with the fragrance so that way um, it can smell nice. And then I just put, since it's my travel, little mini travel for on the go, I put like a little airplane clip right here and a dew drop right there um, back here I have just some sticky notes and some little page flags like these here I put like a little clear and I attached a little card holder and I put some page flags there and in the back I put this little a little bit of some of this uh, expenses notepad or if I want to keep track of my expenses on the go. Um, this I made myself. I printed out, printed this out, cut it to size. I put this little paper clip here. This is going to be like my inbox if I need to attach anything like a receipt or something like that. That's the other side. And then um, I left this. This came with the planner. I left it. Um, these inserts are part of another planner. So back in the day, I used to go to thrift stores and I would always find like old school uh, planners and some of them were not used. They had perfect um, inserts. So what I would always do is instead of buying expensive inserts, I would reuse the inserts of the planners that I would find in thrift stores. And this is from one of those planners from back in those days where I used to do that. And this is just like a little um, month on a page. I haven't used this one yet. I'm showing you guys the setup before I use it. So it has a, as you guys can see, a monthly section. These are the weekly sections. So it's um, a week on a page. And then I, what I love about these inserts is that they come with a financial section. So you're able to kind of keep track of your balances, either like your bank balance, or you can also do of like the money you have on hand. Just if you have a certain amount, if you use cash envelopes or, or things like that, you can use this to keep track of how much money you have left over of the one you have on hand. So these inserts I love. I wish um, I could find them in a bigger size. I'm sure they have them. And there's like a projects, um, section uh, this section i would use it um if i am on a hunt for buying certain specific items for a, a room in the apartment or for something that i'm working on i would kind of use this section for that and then this is the today section so basically the uh, this i would use if i have a a list of things to do on a certain day I would map them out here and kind of keep track that um, that I make sure that I do everything. Um, and then behind that, I have some note pages that I would use. Once these run out, I would use in this with the same um, intention or format. These came with the planner. And then way in the back, um, I left some of the address book pages in case when I'm on the go, um, someone I need to write down someone's phone number and maybe my phone it has no battery at that moment or it's just easier for the person to write it down for me I kind of kept some of the address um, pages for that um, because they do come in handy like you have room for the phone number for an email and if it's a business you can write down the fax number so I do still want to use make use of these um, address book pages especially since nowadays uh, cell phones get filled so quickly and we change cell phones 
so often and sometimes some contacts do end up getting lost or if we put them quickly in the in our address in our contacts in our phones we forget the name of the person and then we can't find them so i don't know i just feel like address book pages are still convenient to use in 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 my case and in my opinion and then in the back it just has um this that came with the pages of the little planner and i put this little to do sticky notepad and then it has a back pocket in the back pocket i put another little fragrance card this one smells really nicely it's one of the chanel chance fragrances the otondra which is one of my favorites i'm actually wearing that right now and then it has a pen loop um but if i put a pen in here since as you guys can see this is pretty full it kind of folds in like my in my my tabs so i just basically put it right here and then this is i bought a pack of these little mini pen markers i believe it was in five below so that's the what i'm gonna be using for this planner and that's it that's my planner and then in here basically um, I carry these two things with me in my purse and if I need a coin purse I can use this for coins but ultimately if I have a full-size wallet that brings a little coin zip pouch I just keep using this for my mini planner and in here all I have is I have a magnetic paper clip as you guys can see everything sticks to it um i believe this one is from yeah cloth and paper but it's like sticking to this and then i have this little pen marker that i use for um underlining or highlighting items and then i have one in blue as well as you guys can see that magnet is pretty strong because it won't let me take out the pen because it's attached to the paper paper clip so these are great but I just keep um, a blue little pen marker in there, this one for underlining or highlighting, and then the black one I attach to the little um, loop right here. I haven't found a pen skinny and small enough to put in here, so once I do, I'll, I'll switch these out. But for now, this is what works for me, and that's it. That is my little mini purse planner and my setup. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little video on it.